Hey everyone, Astro here. Today we're going to cover a pretty intriguing topic. Why does your game feel better on an Instagram account compared to your main one? I'll explain why this happens and what you can do to resolve this issue. Just so you know, we also do provide computer optimization services. We work with players such as Monacy and additionally here's a list of other well-known professional players from our portfolio. So if you're tired of endless problems with your computer such as low FPS, high input lag and you want a perfectly tuned system for your specific tasks, you can just create a ticket in our Discord or message me on Twitter. All the links, of course, will be in the description. To start, you need to understand that almost every game on Steam has a cloud save feature. Essentially, this is a Steam cloud storage where, at least theoretically, all your game saves should be stored. This is mainly relevant for story-based single-player games where you have actual saves that are stored in your cloud storage. However, in competitive games like CS2, this system works a bit differently. Ideally, it would be great if the cloud stored all your settings like graphic settings, sensitivity, sound settings and all the other parameters, but in reality this doesn't happen. So, if you use a different computer, one that isn't your main system and launches for the first time, your familiar settings won't load and you'll need to configure them manually. But that's not the only issue with the Steam Cloud, there's another point to consider. I think it's fair to say that most of you have been playing CS for quite a while and have several years of experience under your belt. Over that period of time, the amount of clutter that accumulates in your Steam Cloud, like old settings, workshop maps, unnecessary cache files and so on, becomes enormous, so there isn't an option to simply clear out all this data and reset your account to its uh, brand new previous state, like it was during the first launch of the game. This leads to a situation where when you play, you might start to notice that something feels off in your game, so your game doesn't feel right or at least it doesn't feel like it does on a new or smurf account. Also I have to say that it is not completely feelings based, meaning that I've seen personally that a lot of people claim there's a FPS difference between accounts, which is also an important and interesting point to consider. So, this problem happens because there's a desynchronization between your Steam Cloud files and your local files. Simply put, they do not match, which creates a conflict between the cloud saves and your local ones. All we gotta do is to clear the Steam Cloud, but unfortunately, Valve's app doesn't have this function built in, so I'm going to show you a slightly unconventional method to do this without using third-party software. To properly delete Steam Cloud files, first exit Steam from the system tray on your taskbar, wait for a moment, and then go to this path in the file explorer. The path is drive C, program files x86, steam, user data. Then find your account folder, go into folder 730, which is for CS, and then open the remote folder. We need to make sure that the contents of these files differ from what's saved in the Steam Cloud. You cannot just uh, delete them because Steam will reload them during your next launch of the game. So instead you need to corrupt them by clearing their contents. You can do this using a simple text editor. If there are images in the same folder you need to touch them at all. So here's what it looks like. For instance we have a file here, you need to highlight the content, delete it, close it and save. And do this for every file in the folder including those in the CFG folder. Once it is done, move on to the next step, you need to exit the folder and find the remote cache.vdf file. Delete it as shown on the screen. Now you need to start Steam again and check your game library. You should see a Steam Cloud synchronization error. This error means that you did everything correct. Now comes the most most important step. You need to launch the game and don't click anything in the pop-up window that appears. Instead, go back to the 730 folder and delete the remote folder and the remote cache.vdf file again. Return to the pop-up message and select the second option. This will override the cloud saves with your local ones and in other words, whatever is in your local system will now match what's in the Steam Cloud, eliminating any data conflicts. After selecting the second option, click continue and wait for your data to resync. Now, your game, in my case CS2, will open and when you close it, your local files will be saved to the cloud. This is basically the goal we've been trying to achieve the whole time. And also one more thing to keep in mind is how many items you have in your inventory, so don't ask why, but it just works. Fewer items in your inventory make the game feel more smoother and this also applies to the number of friends you have on your Steam, animated avatars, profile backgrounds and similar elements. So take this into account and adjust accordingly. As for Steam itself, yes, you can just go into the game properties and disable Steam Cloud synchronization entirely. But it is worth mentioning that Steam as an application is quite flawed due to poor coding and this won't give you the same effect as manually clearing out the Steam Cloud files and syncing them with your local files. So all things considered, I strongly advise you to just use my method to achieve the best result. That's pretty much it, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.